Hey, good morning. Let me read to you today from Psalm 35, 11 through 16. It says, malicious witnesses testify against me. They accuse me of crimes I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good, and I'm sick with despair. Yet, when they were ill, I grieved for them. I denied myself by fasting for them, but my prayers returned unanswered. I was sad as though they were my friends or family, as if I were grieving for my own mother, but they are glad now that I'm in trouble. They gleefully join together against me. I'm attacked by people I don't even know. They slander me constantly. They mock me and call me names, and they snarl at me. <laughs> now, this may not seem like the most inspirational scripture, but again, I kind of choose things that speak to me, and this one reminded me of a time in our ministry history. You know, I started in ministry 34 years ago at age 21 at my home church, Seaford Baptist. I served there for about a year as youth minister, and it became obvious to them and to me that uh, I wasn't called to youth ministry. So when Ann and I went to seminary in 1988, I began searching for an opportunity to serve as a pastor of a church. And my first pastorate was Freedom Baptist Church in North Vernon, Indiana, which I told you about yesterday. That was back in October of 1988. Since then, I've served as sole pastor or lead pastor of seven different churches. Um, one of the things that I've learned through the years is that churches have personalities just like people do. Uh, some churches are nice and sweet, while others are harsh and mean-spirited. Some churches are restless, looking for the next thing that's coming, while others are complacent, happy with the way things are. Some are inviting, encouraging others to come and participate, but others are standoffish. Ann and I felt incredible support and encouragement in our time at Newbridge, which is why I tell people we would like to retire here, Lord willing, you know, if God allows us to. Uh, but, you know, several of our churches have been this way. They've been loving and supportive. But I can recall one church in particular, not to be named, where that was not the case. And as I read these verses from Psalm 35 today, I could not help but think of that church and our experience there. These verses describe in detail, almost word for word, our final 18 months in ministry at that church. Ann and I have since healed from this, but we learned a valuable lesson. I mean, we learned the truth of Romans 8, 28. God causes all things to work together for good to them that love him and remain called according to his purpose. This is part of who we are now. Our experience there became part of us and part of our journey, and God used it, though it wasn't pleasant. And I learned this lesson. <clears throat> that even though they're not supposed to, sometimes sheep bite. God wants us to have the character of Christ, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, the fruit of the Spirit. But sometimes we don't. And maybe we need to stop and pause and consider whether this thing reflects the character of Christ. Pray with me. Father, thank you for blessing us. Thank you, Lord, for placing your spirit in us. And I pray, Lord, that you would help us to have the character of Christ as we, re we relate to each other and to a world that doesn't know you. And I pray this in Jesus' strong name. Amen. Okay, friends, I pray that God would bless you today. We'll see you tomorrow.